that was Hidden Chess Gaming. Now I didn't buy as many games as I thought I would. I was just overwhelmed with the amount of 8-bit uh, games they had. I think uh, I don't think I've ever been in a shop with that many games since the late 80s. Uh, so I came away with nine games. Uh, four on the Spectrum and five on the Commodore 64. So the first one is a game that needs no introduction as it was the subject of my last video and that is Road Blasters on the Kicks budget label. Now this next game is one you had to collect tokens from special packs of Weetabix uh, and send away for this game, and that is Weetabix versus the Titches. Now before I played this game I just assumed it was a Space Invaders clone, and it kind of is, only you can't constantly fire. Uh, you have to pick up missiles before you can fire them. Uh, you pull down on the joystick and press fire to fire a missile and up and fire activates your shield. And the next one is one of Ocean's early games. This one's from 1985 and that is Cosmic War Toad. Now I've not got a clue what I'm doing in this game. So you start off in the top right hand corner of that grid or that map and I can either go left or down and each one of those squares is a different level and as you can see here I'm just firing randomly at these little uh, alien creatures. I'm not sure how many times you have to hit that big one but it uh, just refused to die. And this next bit I hadn't got a clue what I was doing. I was just avoiding those things dropping down and uh, shooting their projectiles. But yeah, I think I need to uh, sit down and read the manual for this one because it's got quite a lengthy manual. And the final Spectrum game uh, is one I had on the Commodore 64 and I think my friend had it on the Spectrum. Um, it's one of those games that I was really good at when I was younger but now I can't even get past the first level and that is Back to the Future Part 3 And it's complete with the free little frisbee and obviously you've got the, the manual and the mirror soft bag. Now on to the Commodore 64. So the first one was on a shelf with a load of other games uh, and this particular shelf all the games on it were new old stock so I think I've got three, yeah I've got three from that shelf so the, the, the three games I've got have never been played before uh, and the first one is a hit squad and it's the only one that I didn't have and that is Navy Moves with the single most hardest first level I've ever played 
So the object of the game is to uh, avoid the mines and get to the checkpoints. And I only managed to get to the first checkpoint. I must have played it for about half an hour to try and get past this first level. And the second part of the game, or the uh, the last level, is where you're on the submarine. And you can just load that by turning the tape over and uh, typing in the access code. Which, of course, I had to uh, look online to get the access code for that one. So this next game I got with my first ever computer and video games magazine uh, back in early 1989. Uh, and this game was sellotaped to the front of it. And that is the puzzle game Brainstorm. So the object of this game is to try and trap the ball within the uh, the line when it's over, I think it's part of the red section, so if the ball is bouncing over the red section your score goes up and I think the black section your score goes down and it's easier said than done so that was Brainstorm by Firebird uh, next one is another new old stock game and it shows with this one because it's absolutely flawless. Uh, this is from 1983 so this is a 40 year old game that's never been played before and that is Buck Rogers Planet of Zoom based on the arcade game. <laughs> But yeah, the, the tape is flawless, there's no scratches or scuff marks. And yes, I smelt it. it. Smells new. Now the next one is a game I remember seeing all the time in gaming mags. It does kind of play like Marvel Madness, but it's very frustrating. And again, I think I need to uh, sit down, read the instructions, and uh, learn what the hell I'm doing. And that is Red LED. Or as I used to call it back in the day, Red LED. Uh, finally, is a game based on a puppet. A puppet that was on uh, Children's BBC as part of the broom cupboard uh, sections in between the children's programmes. And that is Ed the Duck. So this game is very reminiscent of Rainbow Islands. And the object of the game is to get Ed the Duck from the bottom of the level to the top, collecting 20 stars along the way. And you have snowballs at your disposal to freeze your enemies for a few seconds so you can get past them and uh, pick up the stars. It's not a bad little game, but apparently there's only three levels. So it's quite challenging levels. And that is Ed the Duck by Impulse. 
got a nice red cassette tape there. And on the back of the manual, it's got an advertisement for another computer game based on the program. Nice neighbours. So, that's everything I got from Hidden Chess Games. I will be going back there at some point, sometime in the future, because there were some games that I noticed uh, when I was editing the video that I'd not actually noticed when I was filming, when I was actually there. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.